black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Return of the man with the floating head and the black darkness. We got the black round again. I'm just playing with some setups again. We may be switching into this type of scenario, but uh, right here is a sort of a, I guess a, this is, it's one meal a day for me these days on the low carb. So this would be an idea of a meal that I would have basically. Um, so we have scrambled eggs, bacon, and bok choy, but we'll explain more before we do anything more. We must pour, we're bringing it classic. Got a little glass of ice here, a little OJ in your day. This is kind of like a breakfast for dinner with some obscure greens. I don't think normal people have bok choy with their breakfast, but uh, you know, the world's your oyster and you can do whatever you'd like with whatever food you have. So, you know, BK have it your way, but except for no buns and not even close to a Whopper. But one day we'll get there, but uh, let's sip. Has to be low pulp. I hate a lot of pulp. Okay. You also have this Melba toast, a classic. This is multi-grain. Per one of these packs, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crackers, 130 calories, 23 grams of carbs. So bacon, no carbs, eggs, sour cream, salsa, couple carbs, bok choy, no carbs. Basically, I think uh, I have a little bit of sauteed onion in there, so maybe a few carbs in there, but this is gonna replace toast for on our eggs. So we'll crack these babies open. Maybe we'll just have half a pack, have four of them. These are a great snack item to, to just have on hand if you're trying to keep it low, but you want something crunchy and something kind of bready. Those are the boys. Also, we have zero sugar ketchup, but let's get into the eggs first. <clears throat> so I got four eggs here. Perfectly cooked up. I put a little bit, uh, just a dash of cream in them. A little light butter on the pan. Got sour cream. And hot sauce mixed with salsa. So you just fill up a toast. All right. Beauty. And get your, and get your crunch. Sorry, this is really weird. I'm like, extra shake because I got to reach up high. Also a sprinkle of cheese. A light sprinkle of cheese, but some nice fluffy. Fluffy eggs. So yeah, cheese, a couple dabs of salsa, sour cream, living the dream. This is how I'm keeping it these days. I'm trying to keep it to uh, healthier options. It's so delicious. I started the onions first, got them like kind of sweet, caramelized, and then bring in the bok choy, hit a soy sauce, and hit a white wine vinegar. All you need. I'm stressing though because I have a pool of soy sauce here going to drip. And I have to remedy that before that happens. So a little paper towel action there. But yes, I promise you, this is so good. It's amazing. Just with a little bit of 
a little bit of crunch left in it. So this is reminiscent of back in my olden days when I had the OK sign and the lights and stuff. Um, this is the room that I made. A few months back. That had like the, the white tiles and the lights. Those are still all behind me. I just simply put a black sheet up and uh, I just want to see how this fares out. Perfectly cooked bacon. I promise you guys, you want to cook the greatest bacon ever in your entire life. Three eighty. Nine minutes in the air fryer. Don't even have to look at it. Comes out absolutely phenomenally spectacular every time. Last time I ate it was like 22 hours ago. So this is especially enjoyable. And perhaps it's maybe quite entertaining because I'm the floating head again. Unreal. All right, something I've never tried before. Let's put bok choy in with a bite of eggs. I feel like we got to, just because it's a wild, crazy ride that we've never tried before. Mm. That's great. It's like uh, people put spinach in eggs quite a bit. I think from what I have observed in the world, you're making some nice healthy eggs. Just a thicker spinach, you know. Ripped a uh, hour on the treadmill. Because it was rain, rain, go away today which it looks like it's going to be for like the rest of the week, which is like, I guess it's the time of the season. So it makes sense. But just when you look at the forecast and you see the most perfect bacon, you see the most, uh, that's what you see in the forecast. You just see like a depressing seven day rain and clouds. It's bomb stains. But the weatherman is rarely accurate. Way too good. Food is way too good when you fast. I can tell you that. But yeah, I was lucky enough. Uh, my sister inherited a treadmill from my parents years ago. It kind of malfunctioned. I fixed it. But she bought a new one a long time ago and just has never used it. But it's just been occupying space in her basement. And I was like... It's about to be winter here. And we all know that I can't go to the gym. <laughs> so I was like, if I'm gonna stay on this uh,
getting slender and tender train. I'm gonna need something at home, so I serviced it. We hauled it out of her basement, and now I got it. And to be honest, like, I don't know, but I've gone on weight journeys before and cleaning up the life and pulling back off the bottle and stuff before. I've never felt this motivated. I'm so committed. And it feels great. I also detach from the idea of like any of whatever content I do is just whatever content I do. Like whatever goes up, goes up, but it is what it is for now. Such as that ASMR video I did yesterday. It definitely, as per the numbers, a flop. <laughs> People definitely didn't click. But for those who enjoy that, I'm sure it'll be a real nice scalp massage, uh, sleep helper of a treat. So back to my roots. And I personally love those videos. Um, I know people were saying binaural eats. I know he does them, but I love this channel called Aussie. It's Aussie ASMR man. I think it is. And he does those top down angle, like really relaxing random videos, like candy, solitaire word searches, uh, like map drawing and does a bunch of different shit. But it's just really simple, just relaxing stuff, stuff that you don't, you're not too invested in. You don't, you're not thinking about, you know, really what's even going on in the video too much. You're just kind of there to, to, to zone out from the stress of the world. Of course we save the absolute best for last. It does not get more perfect. We savor every bite. Oh my god. I see why pig is like the forbidden flesh of many cultures. I know it's for other reasons, but mainly in my head it would be because it's so damn delicious. The flavor pop of a piece of bacon just doesn't even really make sense. It's like the craziest, most delicious thing ever. And they say that their flesh is the closest thing to human. <laughs> so what, what ye say about that? <laughs> Actual cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Okay. See, that's it. And it's a perfect, like, that doesn't leave me hurting in the belly. It doesn't leave me feeling, ugh. It's a perfect meal. It's just light, delicious, satisfying. I'm just the right amount of food. So, hope you enjoyed this new situation. Probably going to go keep going forward with it. I think it's going to be good. I'm going to try to maybe see what I can do with a little bit of like mood lighting, but I'm not sure if I can make it work for the frame and everything with what I have to work with here. But uh, test round number one, see if I can optimize. And yeah, stay tuned for more eating what I need to eat to get unfat. All right, till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.